Hi, my name is Caroline Shibzadeh. I'm Nicole Lewis. I'm Laura Chow. And I'm Andy Lindemann. And today we're going to share with you our actions toward being the change we wish to see on the topic of depression. We work toward breaking the stigma surrounding depression by helping Doja Levy students realize it's a serious issue and by pushing them to be advocates against using words like depressed and phrases like I'm going to kill myself in a joking manner, which undermines the gravity of this issue. So depression is a medical condition that negatively affects how a person feels, thinks, and acts. Signs and symptoms of this disorder include sadness, irritability, sleep disturbance, low energy, and lack of sleep. Fortunately, there are laws of available treatments for those struggling with depression, such as taking psychotherapy, which is talking to a professional, taking antidepressants like Slexa, Lexapro, and Prozac, undergoing electroconvulsive therapy, attending a support group, and exercise. Each of us in this group has been through depression without having the resources like the ones Nicole mentioned that we knew about, and we experienced just how difficult it is to break free from the grasp of depression which is why we knew we wanted to be, to be the advocates, the voices for this issue. To begin, we have to gain approval from Mr. Libby to ensure that our topic wasn't being covered by any other group. Once we got approval, we began to start blogging about why making jokes about depression is an issue of serious concern in our community, especially amongst high school students. Before we could start our action plan, we have to first do comprehensive research on depression. We split our research amongst us with Caroline focusing on breaking the stigma about depression, Andy focusing on the causes and risk factors, Lauren focusing on the legacy book, and me focusing on the available treatments. So our action brought us into Misty Saints classroom where we explained our project to sophomores on March 23rd and March 24th. Our goal with this was to explain the, depre the signs and the stigma associated with depression and the prevalence of depression worldwide. We started our movement in our school, enabling students to take a step toward being mature and willing to take this issue seriously. Educating students now will have a lasting positive impact on them and their peers as they progress through school, but we won't stop there. With the, um, we want to carry on our actions throughout the year, so with the, um, with the basis of knowing that it helps students to write out their emotions, we decided to create a legacy book. Here, students will write down stories of their own going through depression, a story of a friend they know, advice for helping cope with it, or any uplifting comments. A slip of paper like so is provided to the student and they'll fill it out accordingly, then drop it off in that box so that the answers will remain anonymous. Then the answers will be taken and put together in a book, uh, yeah, strung together in a book. The stories are compiled together in a scrapbook, which will be left here at Dojo Libby throughout the years, and so it'll grow and grow with more stories to come. We encourage any student going through the emotions to read this book and know that there's someone out there who's willing to help them and someone out there who's been in the same shoes as them. After collecting the responses, it was only a matter of categorizing them by advice, uplifting comments, and personal stories. We rooted out inappropriate answers and were left with heartfelt stories that brought me to tears as well as comments I know will help our students in many years to come. So our PSA covers the signs and the stigma associated with depression as well as our activity, the Dope Legacy book. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be showing this PSA around Dojo Libby in order to raise awareness about depression, gain more stories for our legacy book. And for amazing to shine a light into the darkness, being more knowledgeable on depression, and taking steps into action to help those who have it was an amazing experience for all of us. It was just heartlifting to read the stories that were placed in the legacy box that we already read. Throughout the project, we submitted short blogs reflecting our experiences, thoughts, and feelings that we had during the project and larger group responses where we compiled all of our research and could be planned for our actions in the future. We use each battle for this project. For verbal and leader, we have to be able to communicate with each other as well as to bounce ideas back and forth, as well as to the sophomore class to be advocates for breaking the stigma about depression. For intellectual, we have to be able to use the information we learned about depression and its treatments to create a legacy book that will help depressed students feel like they have a support system. For technological, we use online software like Microsoft Word and PowerPoint to make journal entries and to aid in our presentation to the sophomore class. For academic, we have to research depression and its effective treatments. We learned that it's easy for one to put on a brave face and say that they're okay. The sophomores we presented to paid close attention to our sensitive topic. If given the materials, they would participate. This project opened our eyes to the seriousness that this um, that depression has on um, on students and how they help to cope Everything with it. we have done for Be The Change has been geared toward having a lasting positive impact on our school. This wasn't just a project, it was personal. We know it was personal for a lot of students too. 
That's why we want to leave a legacy that's a light, that shines a light in the darkness of depression for many years to come. Thank you.